All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Psyche K, K season three, three episode four. four. Only All three right. episodes left in this wonderful show. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be sad. We have go. so many skits before mm -hmm. end up saying goodbye to everybody. Only so many us as people see Terahashi and, mm -hmm. and not ois and or yeah, oh, ramen knows it. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, what we'll do after this show is we'll go out and have some really good ramen. And yes, yes. Have a, have a, have a, we'll mm -hmm. pour one noodle out for uh, <laughs> Fernando. Fernando, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I whenever like the, uh, the server comes up, we'll just say yada yada. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Judgment lights up. All right. That was a wonderful I episode. That luck charm. <laughs> yeah. Now, I really dislike, in general, luck-based powers, but in comedy, mm -hmm. when you don't give a fuck about how serious perfect. things are taken. Or having continuity. It, yes, it, it's amazing. It's wonderful. Yep. Mm -hmm. You can have literally any situation. It gives you writing capability to put any kind of nonsense into the story. It's so fun. And so... Well done, Psyche K. Well done, Psyche K. Yes. Uh, two, I did not expect that we would be getting another character when the show's almost over. Yeah. So props for that. You actually did it and make it work, made mm -hmm. it work. But three, oftentimes I feel like when you, like in this show, when it has multiple skits that follow on the same thing over yes. and over again, some of the skits will end up like not being, like not quite working. They don't right? hit as hard, yeah. They don't hit as hard, you know, mm -hmm. but there will still be that, like the, the one or two skits, you know, of the theme that like hit really hard. Right. But this one, this was just consistent all the way yeah. through. Like I, I adored each and every one. And, like, and kind of using the psychicers as a way to kind of have Psyche K not be the only one really mm -hmm. kind of reacting to this. And we get yep. to see different people's responses to this chaos factor that it's introduced. Exactly. So, and yeah. because Psyche is wanting to observe He's specifically not doing a lot of the things that, like, might resolve the situation instantly, you know? So he is, he is doing some things to He's doing some people. things, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's the, it's the, once it gets to that, like, oh, no, okay, people, people are, are gonna die. Gonna die. <laughs> okay, I'll do something, right? Right, and that, right. And that lets the skit go on for longer, and I'll see all the crazy stuff that's gonna mm -hmm. happen, because then it's, you know, because, of course, we know it's all gonna be okay in the end, but it's how, how crazy is it gonna get before then, and all that stuff, so... Mm -hmm. Awesome. Love it, love also, it, love it. Also, just loving Ayara and the way she was used in this episode as a whole, uh, not just with the fortune-telling bit, because that was also really good, Yes. but the idea of, oh, she sees the death marks on them, which is something we've explained before. It's a literal mm -hmm. world mechanic in yep. the world of Psyche K where there's right. almost no continuity. So it's the idea that, oh, when those were introduced, those were a form of saying your fate, your karma, your luck is so bad that it could end up killing you. Literally, the introduction of that mechanic sets up his character mm -hmm. to basically be in here, which you uh, caught on probably brilliantly yeah. into the idea. Suzumiya, Suzumiya, he, he, wow! Like they didn't well have the Haru in there, you know. And and okay, maybe it's just a common Japanese name or whatever, you know. Coincidence it could totally I think be Suzumiya is probably pretty common, but still the combination of the final kanji in. Well, out of his name. And, and not just that, but the fact that you have a situation where her power is reality manipulation yes. that is subconscious, right? Yeah. And and specifically causes trouble for everyone around her. Because mm -hmm. that was the whole point of Harahi, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's the, oh no, God wanted things to be more exciting and now you have to deal with that, right? Yep. But in this case, no, it's bad luck, right? And so then, oh hey, it then becomes a battle of wills between, you know, the the bad luck person and the aggressively normal person, uh, right? See, it's what like, this huh, is, is God go. is actually punishing Psyche for this because he's been spurning Teruhashi too long that he's like, I will introduce chaos itself and force right. you to realize how awesome it is to have just a good, stable, steady girl in your mm -hmm. life. Or maybe mm -hmm. it's actually that uh, normal son or whatever his name Sato. is. Sato. Sato, that's <laughs> right. Course, yeah, it's such Sato. a forgettable name. And it's, it's basically so... John, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is yeah. That is what like uh, John like, Smith almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, anyways, yeah. well, uh, Kion situation. Thing. I know. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's actually the one that he wanted some excitement in his life, and so oh then my this, gosh, this, yes. this wrecking ball of bad luck comes in, and you know, and then hey, they're then they end up falling for each other. other. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Could the next episode be the we're trying to set up Sato and straight he, up? 
I would not mind if the next episode was just more focused on Susan Bea. And not just mm-hmm. because I believe that there might be a Haruhi reference in there or whatever, but she's actually just a really fun character that mm-hmm. creates antics. I feel like yeah. I feel like the times that the characters end up being kind of retired in Psyche right. is when the creator realizes that, oh, they're more of a shtick that makes funny reactions to things yes. like Hairo or Reita, uh-huh. but they don't actually cause things to happen, mm-hmm. right? And so then they get moved out of the story. Whereas Aira, with her with her psychic abilities to like know about things, Amazing. cool. Terahashi with God mucking about and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Yes, Nendo, just his existence, you know, <laughs> yes. just c- causing Shinkaido. crazy things to happen. Yes. Yeah, Shunkaido. It's like it's like yes, that 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 is. That is a comedic gold mine where you can mm-hmm. just make things happen. And so I We need I, to make the Psyche K character tier list. When, exactly. When right. It's like <laughs> And it, including losers bracket. Yeah. Oh well yeah, yeah. Yeah. For obviously. Sure, for sure. Yeah. Clearly. But uh, so I if anything, I'm just sad that she wasn't introduced sooner because mm-hmm. she's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Um the episode giving us a multi part kind of character introduction skit series was wonderful, but I really did like the individual skits as well. Those were really strong. Um, in particular, I just got to give props to Ira as a character. Yes. Ira is upgraded Reita in every possible way. Every way. And even the ways in which recently they have kind of... Reita has been redeemed in a lot of ways in my mind through a lot yeah. of this, the focus that he's been used as a member of the Psychicers rather than a individual character focus for an entire exactly. skit. He's, everyone needs a heal, you know, and he's a very effective one. He is yeah. an effective one, exactly. Yeah. But Ira's fortune telling skit of i give exact specific things and he's like oh fuck that that's actually a problem Uh, i can't give you you not do that please yeah yeah and then it's the oh wait i'm watching and protecting her psyche we this isn't just about that like you you care about her you you care about her and then the shipping wars commences of the whole terahashi or i I mean yeah that's why the ed of the previous Mm -hmm. season was the way it was was. there and and, and why it was so good and all that so good yep yep yep. and the bit uh, of ira being like i mean hey i'm not actually just gonna go along with what he says just because he said it i mean hey good for you It's but, almost but as I if would he kind of like it if he did that too. <laughs> yeah, if he said you can only use your powers for me, she's like, oh, I wouldn't stop if he uh, if he said that. <laughs> oh man, God, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, uh, but um, I want to see, I want to see other characters interacting with he specifically Shunkaido, Nendo, and uh, Mera. In addition no, to Meta, Hashi, of course. As well, see, but. see, if if she ran into Meta, it just wouldn't change anything. <laughs> like Meta's already like perpetually poor and like you know needing to eat ice cubes, you know, in order no, to save like, enough money to but buy like, food for her family. Imagine Meta getting so unlucky that she had to eat he. Like she had to like start like get she, like she couldn't find food. Right? Meta's just trying to find food and she just becomes a cannibal. So what happens is that wait a minute. Actually, this is a good point. Right. How much does his introduction actually change things? Because we've already had, like, in Psyche kind of mentioned it, but, like, there's already been horribly bad luck going on. Yes. It's like the plane crashing, uh-huh. and or almost crashing, and right. the deserted island, and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, what new depths and reservoirs of awful could come about as a result of her being present? Limitless. Potential. Limitless. Yep. Mm-hmm. And thus she was introduced, but was she introduced too late? Maybe. <sighs> We shall have to wait and see. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.